Hello viewers welcome back to IV Indiewears today i am coming back with the recipe of zebra cake zebra cake making is very much fun and it is easier than it looks so here are the ingredients 1 cup of maida 1 cup of sugar then half cup of milk and into it i have added 1/4 cup of butter into the warm milk and then i have cooled it down the milk has been cooled down then i have egg yellow like the yellow parts of the egg whole egg yellow part and the white parts are on this bowl then there is baking soda baking powder you need cocoa powder as well for this recipe i am using cadbury brand of cocoa powder then you need vinegar as well now let's get started i'm whisking the egg white separately for say some time then i'm adding half a teaspoon of vinegar into it it will help the egg white become frothy i'm whisking it for some more time till it looks like this you can see the foam or the froth on top of it yellow part for the egg yolk separately into it i am adding sugar bit by bit friends i would suggest you use powdered sugar although i am using normal sugar it will help you with the process I say you add one and half cups of maida because I added half cup later. Two in, I am adding one teaspoon of baking powder. Then half a teaspoon of baking soda. slowly see it is called cut and fold method i am mixing them slowly and slowly to this now i am going to add the egg white mixture you have to whisk it really thoroughly the entire 
structure is becoming very smooth we are looking for a ribbony consistency so friends as i have told you before i ended up adding one and half cups of maida in total to bring this ribbony consistency now i am separating this batter into two halves i am making two halves of it and you can see the ribbony consistency see how it is falling on the ball on the bowl to this to one half of it to one half of the batter i am adding two tablespoons of cocoa powder it is always recommended to add a good brand of cocoa powder see the smooth batter now comes the most interesting part that is assembling this cake i am going to put the normal batter without the cocoa powder into the center i am pouring 2 tablespoons at a time 2 tablespoons of this mixture as you can see and to the center of it cocoa powder for the batter with the cocoa see it will spread on its own depending on the consistency of the batter it will spread on its own we have to continue this process as i call it in the center i am doing it very carefully because it's my first time making this zebra cake so i am a little cautious see this is after pouring the entire batter layer by layer this is how it looks inside the baking pan now what we are going to do we are going to draw patterns for that i am taking a skewer you can use a toothpick also but make sure between each stroke you clean the tip of the skewer or the all by themselves so i am drawing inward stroke at a time and outward stroke at the next time Some forty to forty-five minutes, and this 
is my final This is the date I made as you can see. Now, how we are going to do it? Or I am just putting the tip of the knife around the corner so that it comes out easily. You will get to see how it looks. See, I have placed it, put it in a plate, and now. I am going to show you the inside part of it as well. Making this cake is very easy. Viewers, it is just a matter of little bit of patience. And I can ensure you that you and your family are definitely going to like baking this cake and eating it as well. Do go make it at home. Thank you. Thanks a lot.